Well, since Washington State approved gay marriage, basically the votes are still being counted, but 99% of them are now in, and we can say for sure that gay marriage is approved in Washington State. Now, <laughs> a lot of these counties are now going to go into overdrive to get prepared for some of these marriage licenses applications and I talked to somebody from Olympia was it uh, what county it was King County yeah they were saying look Jose it's not that easy to just okay well let's just cross the line where it says husband and wife and you can put your name on it no we have to print the new applications and they have to do all this thing I'm like wow so much bureaucracy just to certify your marriage rights and they're saying oh there's gonna be like at least 12,000 people in the first day or something on that order and they're preparing for that and I don't know if they're going to have midnight weddings. Are they going to have midnight weddings? Just like that, what they did in Massachusetts when they first got legalized there. I guess they're going to do that. Uh, but Washington State is preparing. The, I think that's going to be the one that has the biggest impact. It's a larger state. Am I right about that? Because in Maryland, what happened in Maryland is that a lot of the gay people there, they went to Washington, D.C., and they got married there. It's just right across the street, so... Uh, because in New York, there was all this chaos. I remember correctly. People waiting in line for hours, six hours, just to get married, just to get a fucking application. And then they had a lottery. Yeah, what, that was weird. They had a lottery for those who wanted to get married the first day that, that it became legal. Most of it was hype, you know, it was basically hype. You know, want to be part of history. Oh, let's be part of history, Jose. Let's get married. No, bitch. <laughs> I will only marry you once I really know that I really want to. So, I don't know. I think they should have gone by seniority. They should have said, look, those couples who have been the longest will get in first. I think that should they should have done that. But there were reports that there were people waiting for like hours and then they had to wait and then they couldn't get in and they have to stay in for the until the next day or something like that. But there were people that were waiting for five days that they will come in every day and they'll see if they can get a license. But they had to wait until like five days to get a license. <laughs> and I hate lines. I hate fucking lines. I don't care if I'm going to get married or... Or if it's, you know, whatever it is. Waiting in line to get a, a new lung from a lung transplant or something. I hate waiting in line. I just won't do it. Oh my god, there is a line. I'll just leave. So, anyway. Oh, here's an article about this. County officials are planning for longer hours in King, Pierce, and Thurston counties to handle an expected rush of gay and lesbian couples wanting to take advantage of their right to marry. Marriage licenses become available December 6th when referendum 74 is certified, although is re a required waiting period will push the first ceremonies off by three more days to December 9. Oh, so there's a three-day waiting period. Was there a waiting period in New York? I I don't think there was, because I saw that gay people were, some people were were getting married right there and then. There was like a, a fast lane or fast track, what is it? A fast pass. <laughs> Got a fast pass to get married. Like in Disneyland. Jose, did you take this man to be your husband? Hey, Joey, did you take Jose to be your husband? Okay, God bless you, blah, the Anna Pernas, your man and wife, and blah, blah, blah. Okay, you make it to break. Go! <laughs> man, I had to be the minister who has to officiate all those weddings. 
but uh, hey, I mean, it, it's a good thing for the economy, right? Uh, a lot of these ministers charge money for this service, so they're going to be all busy. That's good. Be busy. A lot of these bakeries and wedding planners are going to be busy. And if you're one of those, oh, my religion doesn't allow me to bake a wedding cake, go fuck yourself. I mean, seriously, go fuck yourself. You're, you're in business. Do you know what that means, business? You have a dance hall or a, or a, or a wedding reception hall, and you were like, I don't want to rent it because it's a cake wedding. It's against my religion. Screw you, you dumb prick. You don't have to go to the fucking wedding. Now, if you're a photographer, okay, I, maybe I can understand that. Maybe, but really, I don't. Yeah, because the photographer has to be there, has to look at it, whatever. Okay, fine. But you're baking a fucking wedding cake. It, 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 this is what we should do. For bakers that do not want their wedding cakes to be part of a, of a gay wedding, you know what we should do? Find out who they are. No, no, no. Get straight couples to go in there and buy the wedding cakes for us. And then all the people that participate in this, we can take pictures of the of the wedding cake and our gay weddings and send those happy pictures to the lucky bakers. Oh, they're gonna have oh, they're gonna have diarrhea for three days. <laughs> that would be that would be better than to sue these fuckers. Let's do that. Let's find out who the uh, homophobic bakers are in Washington State. And instead of trying to go to court, fuck that, going to court. Let's embarrass them. We should do that. Find the homophobic bakers who don't want to bake wedding cakes for gay couples. Get all the straight couples that we have, straight friends. Get them to buy the cakes for us. We'll, we'll eat the cake, fuck it, whatever. Uh, oh, and then we'll make them like miserable, kind of like. We want discounts. You know, you always go into these uh, bakers or bakeries, and all the time the bride will always ask for a discount. Can I get a discount for this? Well, maybe it's because I watch too much Bridezilla. <laughs> I like that show, Bridezilla. It's really funny. You should watch it on Wii, the Wii Network. Uh, but we should do that. That that will be <laughs> that will be hilarious, just for me to laugh, for me to have a good laugh for at least a week. We could do that. Uh, oh, so you you don't want to sell any gay wedding cakes? That's good. That's fine. We'll just get our straight our straight friends to pretend that they're the couple. They'll buy the wedding cake for us. That will be a nice wedding gift. You know that w wedding cake, and uh, we'll take pictures of us enjoying our wedding cake our, at our gay wedding, <laughs> and we'll send you copies of those photos. Oh, that that baker's gonna shit his shit his underwear. Three days, diarrhea, homophobic diarrhea. How about that? Uh, that will be gold. Somebody should do that. Somebody, somebody should put that together. I will pay to do that. If we can organize that, that would be great. Then maybe next time they'll think twice to do that on us. You know, it's like a public thing that we can do. Public court, you know, not to go to the legal court or sue them or, you know, don't do anything to them, but humiliate them. That's the way that you can get at these assholes. And then what about the uh, people that work at these clerk's offices that don't want to sign these marriage licenses? Oh, fuck you. It's your fucking job. What the hell are you talking about? But my religious beliefs, blah, blah, blah. Well, what about those who want to execute gays because of their religious beliefs? Should they have a shot at that? I mean, why should you get an exemption and not them? You know, this that slippery slope theory that you have? Well, it can go both ways, can it? Or is it just only for this side? Well, that's kind of what it is, and... Um, for those of you who are going to get married in Washington, congratulations. I hope you have a nice life and you enjoy yourselves. And don't forget that um, there's always gay divorce. <laughs>
Why don't we have cakes for divorce? I mean, we have wedding cakes for when you get married. Why don't we have cakes for when you divorce? That would be funny. Not funny, but it would be fun. Like a like a recept, a, a divorce reception. We know we can have a party for that. I should start that. Finally, it's over. <laughs> Uh, I know a lot of people who would want to do that, by the way. <laughs> uh, we are really ramping up because we are expecting a lot of activity. You can imagine there are a lot of people in Pierce County who want to be the first couple to line in line to fill out a marriage license application, Pierce County Auditor Julie Anderson said. She said other places that have legalized same-sex marriage have seen license applications double. Assuming that holds true here, she expects the roughly 6,000 marriage licenses processed in 2011 to grow to 12,000 next year. The um, Her counterpart in Thurston County, Auditor Kim Wyman, is also expecting a large turnout. We'll probably have a line at least on the first couple of days, she said. Some of the plans being developed are, Wayman said that she might extend Thurston hours beyond the usual 8 a.m., 5 p.m. on December 6th and 7th. She also, she's also leaning toward opening December 8th, a Saturday, she said. Uh, yeah, I mean, there, there were some offices in New York that were open on Sunday. Best day to get married. <laughs> King and County Executive Dow Constantine announced last week that the county recorder's office will have extended hours December 6th through 8th. Anderson's office will stay open uh, through 8 p.m. on December 6th and 7th and then open for special hours 9 a.m. through 3 p.m. on December 8th and 9th on Saturday and Sunday. Such weekend special license fairs are not a new idea in Pierce County, Anderson said. The office has done them in the past to provide weekend access to services. Anyone who wants to renew their passport or their car tabs, for example, can join engaged couples in line. <laughs> that would be great. So, yeah, it's one of the few times that it's open on the weekend. and A lot of people would like to. Why don't we just have that? Why can't we have government offices open on the weekend? On Saturday, at least. I mean, a lot of people like me, we work on the weekday. We work, I work every uh, Monday through Saturday. I work all day. All evening I work. I do the show, I do other websites, I have other things to do. I basically have no time at all to, if I have to go to get married or, or go to the DMV or fill out any of these other forms or things like that. I mean, general, we should have a Saturday. I mean, the DMV is open on Saturday sometime, isn't it? I don't know. Here in Arizona, it is open, is it? Yeah, it is. But, but the other offices should remain open. Like, what happens if you want to get married on Saturday or on a Sunday? Doesn't matter if you're gay or straight. I mean, it's, I don't know. Anyway. But they should open. I mean, fucking government. You know how we say the tea baggers always say, oh, the government's too big. Yeah, it's only open Monday through Friday. How about that? <laughs> it's only open Monday through Friday. And they think that all the money that's being spent is only on, like, on the DMV and government offices, services, and all that. No, not really. Most of it's spent overseas. The military and all that shit. And yeah, try to go to a military base and try to get information. So they will say, fuck you, get out of here. <laughs> oh, God. So, anyway. All of you Washingtonians, get ready. Wedding bells are ringing.